Should sex work be banned? The age-old debate has resurfaced this time in the European Parliament. A German lawmaker, Maria Neukel, wants to ban buying sex. She's pus pushing a foreign EU-wide regulation on sex work. She says Europe is like a magnet for sex tourism. Her position is very clear. Selling sex is not a job. It is a gender-based violence. She says it should be illegal to buy sex or be a pimp. But not everyone's on board. There is disagreement in the European Parliament over her stance. Some say that Neukel's proposal to ban buying sex might actually worsen the job of the sex workers. Luca Stevenson, director of programs at the European Sex Workers' Rights Alliance and a former sex worker has said, and I quote, When you say that prostitution is gender-based violence and a form of paid work, what you actually say is that sex workers are not able to distinguish between rape and sex work. Evidently, Maria Neukel's new proposal has sparked the debate around sex work. In the EU, fierce di disputes are currently ongoing. The leaders are discussing how to best regulate the sex industry. While some call for a complete ban on sex work, others believe sex work should be legal. A complete ban on sex work is a position usually supported by far-right groups. Neukel's proposal to criminalize buying of sex and reduce the exploitation of sex workers through human traffickers is breaking up traditional party lines in the EU. Though her report was adopted in September with 234 votes, the split in European Parliament is still evident. There were 122 abstentions and 175 votes against it. For Neukel, reducing the demand is the key because demand creates a market. The idea is that people will eventually stop buying sex out of fear of being criminalized. This, this will then decrease the amount of sex work. That's her logic. Well, technically, the EU does not decide on sex work legislation, but Neukel wants member countries to decide to adopt European rules. While the European Parliament debates it, the German lawmaker has started a very important debate. It poses serious questions about sex work. Can criminalization of sex work really stop gender-based violence? For long, sex workers have been on the periphery of social and economic life. Even governments have looked down upon them. And while some countries have legalized sex work, issues remain. While one side argues that legalizing sex work empowers workers, keeps them safe from police harassment, from fines and arrests, the other side warns that it codifies pernicious forms of violence against women. While one side says legalization gives sex workers the opportunity to organize, take effective action against exploitation, the other side argues that it risks increasing human trafficking. So does this mean it should be banned? The answer to that question is, on the f is in the facts on the ground. Studies show that most female sex workers enter prostitution out of necessity, not personal choice. Once they are in, it is a fairly unorganized sector. Many of the female sex workers work from home. And it is a fact that exploitation, sexual assault and harassment, it all comes with the job. So then shouldn't the conversation or the focus be about listening to the voices from within this community? Shouldn't the focus be on enabling women to choose career paths different from sex work if they want? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.